According to the government's official statistics bureau, Taiwan's 5.1 million people between the ages of 50 and 64 spend 1.3 trillion Taiwan dollars annually. This group was Taiwan's very first middle class and the first generation of credit card users. It is also more affluent than the other age groups, and businesses are looking for ways to appeal to their distinctive interests. Our Sunday in-depth report. During the day on a Tuesday, Yang Chi Chung takes a leisurely stroll in the park. When he walks past a construction site, he takes out a special mask which is inserted into his nose. And when he gets tired, his backpack can be instantly transformed into a chair. I saw this at a Japanese exhibition. It's very light, less than a kilogram. Young is an agent for imported foreign products. He's been working in the field for more than 30 years, and his company's business was quite stable even early on. Wang Mingguo has been a practicing architect for 30 years. He's also been immersed in his lifelong hobby of collecting Chinese antiquities. Wang's collection includes dozens of seals belonging to literary figures and personalities from the Ming and Qing dynasties. I don't just think about the function of these seals, but also the creativity and craftsmanship or their cultural importance. Yang Xinru, who owns an automobile website, has 20 plus years of experience in the field. He also has eight collectible cars. If you arouse our memories, many people will not hesitate to purchase something. People from 55 to 64 years old show a particular interest in goods of cultural value or artistic value and are not concerned by their price. According to the Government Statistics Bureau, the average per capita consumption for this group is around 260,000 NT dollars a year. That makes it the highest spending age group in Taiwan. They have three main traits. First is the amount of free time, the second is financial freedom, and the third is that they have transferred concern for their children and family members to themselves. Their top three items they like to buy are 3C products, daily necessities and vouchers for restaurants. They're also the first generation of credit card users in Taiwan. If they were among the first users of credit cards at the time, they will have gotten good deals from the banks if they are still using the credit cards today. These deals include dining, accommodations, golfing and even airline mileage promotions. And they're Taiwan's first generation middle class a group that witnessed Taiwan's booming economy and saw the stock index break through the 10,000-point threshold. Our generation was indeed very lucky as there were opportunities throughout Taiwan. Yang traveled abroad frequently and attended various product fairs to find innovative products to represent as an import agent. He recently discovered products for middle-aged consumer segments, including items to help with insomnia. Your sleep quality may falter when you are no longer young. You may fall asleep while sitting in the living room, but when you lie in bed, you can no longer sleep. In order to solve his own insomnia problem, he began to wear a device that allows him to listen to music throughout the night. He also discovered this interesting portable electronic toilet seat. Often middle-aged people spend the whole day sitting in the office. We spend long hours sitting. It's only natural one develops hemorrhoids with age. Middle-aged people have many unspoken needs, and whoever can satisfy those needs can create many opportunities. This 40-year-old mattress factory's decision to upgrade its business and target specific consumer segments has pushed its annual revenue to nearly one billion NT dollars. At this particular age, these individuals have all achieved a basic level of wealth. So what is most important to them is their physical health. 
Revenue from this segment accounts for about 40% of our business. Another industry targeting the middle age group is the health food industry, which is inventing new products targeting health and nutrition. Focusing on the needs of middle aged consumers can be a very profitable business. It's a market now worth an estimated 1.3 trillion NT dollars per year.